Welcome back, Internet. Sean here, Mahal.com. And now that we've just taken the first step in figuring out why our computers run so slow by making sure that our hardware matches our software, we'll be going and taking the next step by figuring out if we have any viruses or spyware on our computers. So let's dive in and take this next step to make sure that's not your problem. All right, now let's take one of the first steps and see whether or not we have a virus. There's, about, there's three ways to do this. One of them is use your antivirus program and do a full system scan. So like, for instance, I have PandaCloud here. I'm doing a full system scan to make sure I don't have any viruses or spyware on my system. Another way to do this is to check out by pressing Control shift escape check out the processes that are running on your computer and see if anything is out of sort, out of place, anything you don't necessarily recognize, and then look that process up to see if it could be malware, spyware, or a virus of some sort. And if if you do run across that and you are able to find that you do have a virus or spyware or some type of a process that's just harmful to your system, plug that exact name into Google and more than likely you'll be presented with a large list of ways to remove that from your system. Another easy way to remove that is a lot of times sites will have specific removal tools like Casper Sky Labs has virus removal tools just for specific viruses. So a site like this can come in really handy for that. And another thing, too, is if your antivirus doesn't find it, then you might want to get another antivirus or just simply use a different one completely. And a couple of the good free ones out there would be AVG's Antivirus, Microsoft Security Essentials, PandaCloud, Avast, and Adaware. Now, one thing to take note is I really don't like the home page here for downloading the free version of PandaCloud because this is what a fake antivirus website will look like. Just this this will be the layout they'll try to mimic and copy. This is the official site here, but just to give you an idea of what fake antivirus websites will look like, they'll try to mimic this page here. And again, the three steps we talked about is doing a scan, and once your scan is complete, you want to make sure that any of the files that are quarantined, make sure to delete those and take any necessary actions after the scan is complete. And if it doesn't find something or it's not able to remove something, you might want to switch to another program. So. After you've scanned, and you've also checked through your processes, if you've found a virus, you'll go to one step at the end of this video. If you haven't found a virus, then we'll go to another step, and that's where we'll help optimize your software. So there you go. Just make sure to do a scan, check online, and check your processes. And your results will decide whether or not you go one way or the other in finding out why your computer's running so slow in this series. All right, guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC's running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one. And that will be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, only you can prevent spyware, viruses, and all that bad stuff on the internet.